Hello all, how is it going? Uh, j 4 t Foy here, uh, playing a test run of Brain Drain on Game Boy. Um, generally, sometimes for my videos, I like to go over wiki or whatever information I can find about the game. Unfortunately, I'm not finding anything off at the moment. However, it seems Brain Drain is quite a huge, um, whatever coverage of many different things, I suppose. Actually, is there something about this? Uh, it doesn't seem so. Damn, I'm tired and I haven't even gotten started. Anyway, here we go. Anyway, this is a puzzle game. I sucked at it. So, human capital flight, more commonly referred to as brain drain, is a large-scale immigration of a large group of individuals with technical skills or knowledge. The reasons usually include two aspects, which relative, respectively come from countries and individuals. In terms of countries, the reasons may be social environment and source countries lack... Oh, I'm getting kind of bored of that. Brain drain is common amongst developing nations such as the former colonies of Africa, the island nations of the Caribbean, and particularly, particularly... In centralized economies such as former East Germany and the Soviet Union, where marketable skills were not financially rewarded. Um, yeah. Anything? I think there was there was like a medical term for this as well, or something. Oh, there is a something for. Oh, I finally decided to put through that thing, um, thing. So anyway, this was a game, let's see if it has much, uh, anything. Um, really doesn't look like it. However, it does recognize it's on Game Boy. Any moment here. Uh, Brain Dream is an action game. Game. Developed by Visual Impact and published by Acclaim Japan, which was released in 1998. Uh, it received a reader review, review average of 3.5 and a GameFAQ rating average of 7.0. Fair enough, cool enough, great enough, good enough, awesome, whatever. So Brain Drain, interesting enough, it's cool. Uh, I suppose, uh, this is, I, I think I already said it a moment ago, whatever, uh, this part one of two, unfortunately both parts are terrible and boring, but you know, I said fuck it, I'm going to test this game out and see just how excellent it is, how awesome it is. How expensive, how extensive is the brain drain? Okay. I don't think this has anything to do with, like, the political, whatever, stuff it's talking about here. Brain drain, uh, brain gene can have many reasons, for example, political instability of a nation, Lack of opportunities, health risks, personal conflicts, etc. Brain drain can be also named as human capital flight because it resembles a case of capital flight in which mass migration of financial capital is involved. The term brain drain was introduced by observing the emigration of the various technologists, doctors, and scientists from various developing countries including Europe, to more developed nations like USA. Now the phenomenon of brain drain has converged effect for a country in which people are getting migrated, and brain drain of a nation becomes a brain gain for that particular country. Usually all developing countries, including India, are suffering from brain drain, 
And developed countries like USA are having brain gain from this phenomenon. Countries like China, Pakistan, Russia, and India are also facing problems of brain drain. Unemployment, population explosion, and corrupt political systems are main reasons for migration of skilled workers from Asia. In countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, etc., graduates, postgraduates, post experienced and skilled professionals are not getting enough opportunities to develop and succeed. So with dreams of development, these professionals leave their native country in search of a better future. This brain drain is a great loss to these developing countries. What is brain gain? On the other hand, brain gain is just an opposite situation to brain drain. Countries in which skilled workers are migrating are said to brain gaining countries. Examples include USA, Canada, and UK. These countries are having brain gain because these nations are rich and have enough work opportunities. Moreover, they provide better facilities and lifestyle. Conclusion, the balance of power and for the staggered development of the world, it is very important to stop the phenomenon of brain drain. This will help a particular country to use all local skilled citizens for development and proliferation, but to hold these skilled workers at their native places, it is also important to provide them enough work opportunities and living facilities. For this purpose, developed nations should help developing countries with necessary money and resources so that each and every human of this planet can have good standard of living, and each and every nation can introduce itself as a developed nation. Well, that's kind of fucked. Either way, whatever. Yeah, then I'm not surprised at all. I mean, it's Fox, so I mean, is there any more, is there any brain draining or gaming going on right now anyway? I'm sure there is some, just like, you know, not how prevalent uh, it could be, I suppose. Um, yeah. I guess that's what I get for trying to f find uh, information about a game. It also is related to other terms and interesting stuff, I guess, whatever. Cool enough, I guess, whatever. So, I don't know, I figured I'd test this game. It's probably not going to even get any traffic, more like most of these uh, Game Boy test runs do. This will be non-existent. If, like, this shit was played somewhere on this channel, not really, you won't find it. Anyway, it looks like I'm coming to an end of part one of two of Brain Drain. I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel. You'll find more interesting. Goodbye.